Hi, sorry. I hope I didn't keep you waiting long. Okay, good. I'm Vanessa. It's nice to meet you. Yes, I am head of security here at the Freddy Fazbear Mega Pizza Plex. Right. All right, so I'm the only security here at the Pizza Plex, but uh, due to recent events involving a small child overnight, um, they have finally agreed to allow me to hire on more staff. So that's where you come in. I haven't been too busy, um, you know, just interviewing people for this position. Yeah, okay. All right, so you're my only applicant so far, so I appreciate you coming in. I could really use some help around here, okay? But that doesn't mean you have the job just yet. You do have to go through this first night trial basis, so we'll see how you do. Okay? If you have any questions at any point, don't hesitate to ask or let me know. Okay. So let's start with your quick little interview just to get that out of the way, and then we'll kind of go over some training, and I'll get some information from you in regards to your equipment and everything. Okay? All right. Let's start with how did you hear about this position? Right, the news. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why do you want to work here at Freddy Fazbear Mega Pizza Plex? I see. So, you know, it's not that you had like a childhood memory of working here? <sighs> no, I thought so. So you wanted to uh, see if the rumors were true. I'm sorry? Are they true? Uh, I'm under oath to uh, let you know and make you aware of the fact that um, those are just rumors and they have not been proven to be uh, true. Yes, we're um, unaware of the bite and um, anyone being shoved into a spring lock suit. Okay. All right. Yes, and the kid that broke it overnight. Mm. All right, moving on with the interview here. So, have you worked as a security guard before? No. Uh, no, that's fine. I mean, as I mentioned, you are the only current applicant, so you're Passing with, um, flying colors. Okay. How are you under pressure? Yes, yeah, so when put in a, um, stressful position or something you were not, um, expecting, uh, how are you with dealing with that? Are you able to think quickly on your feet? Or would you maybe freeze up? Let something happen. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, no, uh, that's not insinuating anything or applying that accidents happen. It's just a standard job application question. You know, we never know if someone's going to try to break in, stay overnight, see if the rumors are true, one of the animatronics come to life and tries to attack you. What? No, I'm just speaking hypothetically, of course. That's all it is. <laughs> okay. Very good. And have you ever worked a night shift before? Okay. Let's 
so you have no problem staying up late. Very good. Yes, we just don't need our guards falling asleep here at night. Okay. Now, in this job, we do have to occasionally work uh, different positions or be able to be skilled in different fields since we are the only two here at night. So, such as occasionally I might have to fix one of the animatronics. So, how are you mechanically or any other special skills or traits that you have that would be beneficial for this position? Okay. Um, I suppose that could help. All right. And lastly, the company just likes me to ask, uh, which animatronic is your favorite? And I see. It's a good choice. There's something else. I mean, yes, I can. When we show you around, I can take you to their room if you want to see or meet them. You'll get to know them very closely. Yes, more than uh, you probably would even like. Okay, who's my favorite? Uh, I don't know, I don't really have a favorite. You work here long enough and uh, you kind of get sick of them. Yeah, okay. I suppose Freddy isn't all that bad, but um, let's just get started here. So, interview questions went well. So next, I'm going to get you all equipped here and situated. I'll also grab your measurements because if everything goes well tonight, when you come in tomorrow, I'll have a uniform ready for you to go. So, Actually, why don't we start with your measurements while I have my pen out and ready to go, and then we will go ahead and get you all equipped here. So, let me set this down. Okay. So, I don't need that many measurements from you. This isn't like something that's like super specific. Plus, it is getting to be late here. So we need to start our patrol very soon. So hold still here. I'm going to get your head measurements for your head. So and three, four, five, eight. Okay, and now I just need to get around your head here. Looks good. Does that feel okay? All right, good. All right, go ahead and look up for me. I'm gonna get the length of your neck. No, I'm sure something just fell. Um, let's hurry this up here. Oh no, I'm sure it was, uh, it was nothing. Um, we just really need to get patrolling here. Hold still, I'm just gonna get around her neck. I'm sorry, is that a little too tight? Let me loosen it here. Better? Good. Okay. All right, go ahead and stick your arms out for me. I'm going to get to the length of your torso here. One, two, three, four, Good. No, yeah, I'm sure everything's fine, but if you don't mind keeping a eye out for me, um, nothing in particular. We just um, need to make sure we're on our guard. Let me know if you see anything, okay? I'm gonna get 
the length of your arm here. Okay. So I'm going to do it. Just okay. And your wrist. So you're going to be getting a shirt from us, a hat, and a pair of pants. You can provide your own black shoes. They don't have to be super fancy. They can be tennis shoes, but black is preferred. Okay. Let me get your other arm. I'll also give you some equipment here in a second since she'll be patrolling with me tonight. Tomorrow you will do one side of the pizza plex and I will get the other. Since it's a big area, we decided to split it between two guards, since I can't be everywhere at once. Okay? Alright, I'm gonna get your legs real fast after we grab your waist and hip measurement here. Okay? I had to get a little close, I hope that's okay. Uh, your hip. All right, very good. All right, I'm just going to get the length of each leg and you should be all set. Hold on. Okay, make it from the top of your hip here down to your Okay, so it looks like I have all the measurements that I need. Let me set this down. Yeah. Let me just write this down real quick so I don't forget. Do you have any questions for me so far? No, okay. Other than the um, rumors. Okay. Well, very good then. Let's start by doing a quick little exam. I just want to make sure that you are physically up for any of the challenges this place may throw at you. Again, it's all hypothetical. Um, you know, security guards, our jobs can be very demanding. So, I'm just gonna look into your eyes here, stare right here at my nose, and try not to move. Good. Good. Everything seems to be dilating properly. Okay. Now, do you wear any prescription glasses or contacts? Alright, you did seem to go a bit in and out there, so I just wanted to make sure. Now, keep your head, neck, and shoulders still for me, and just follow the light with your eyes, okay? Here we go. Good. Good. 
but you do seem to have very good reaction time, which can be beneficial for this job. Perfect. Did you have any discomfort during that? No. Lastly, I just want to check your hearing. Again, we just need to be quick and responsive. So close your eyes for me and I'm going to hold this up and you tell me when the sound stops, okay? All right, here we go. Very good. Okay, very good. All right. Yes, you passed. I mean, I'm no medical professional, but we just like to make sure that our applicants are up for the job. Though, since you're our only um, current application, you are going to probably get the job regardless, depending on how this first night goes. All right. Okay. All right, let's get started then. So, now that we got all of that out of the way, I do want to put you through a proper trial run, so I will give you a tour around the pizza plex and then we will separate for a short time. This is your FAS watch. It's how we will communicate. So, put this on and we will synchronize it up with the pizza plex and with mine. So that way, we can use them as like walkie-talkies. Here you go. Yep, just put that on there. Okay. Now we have a few options here for you. First things first is we always carry our flashlights. So, I have one for you and one for me. Keep this on you at all times. If you are to see anything, you know, shining a light in their eyes could, you know, blind the um, perp perpetrators, animatronics, etc. And um, what? The, you know, like the perpetrators, anyone who's breaking in or anything. Uh, did I say animatronics? Uh, you, you never know. Um, but this could be your uh, best friend, so just Hold on to that and um, don't lose it. And keep the strap on you so it's always attached during everything. That is what I do. And if you are prone to losing your flashlights or if you need to go into any of the vents, yes, um, you may occasionally need to go into a vent if we hear noises just to make sure no one's hiding out and their kids you know they like to do that um i have this head mounted flashlight for you just put it on and you can angle it accordingly so i will give this to you as well here you go perfect And last but not least, I will get you situated again if all goes well with your own uh, spring lock or Freddy Fazbear mask. Um, oh, it's, you know, just standard protocol. Um, sometimes the animatronics like to wander, and it's perfectly normal, perfectly safe, but. Um, you know, humans aren't supposed to be in here at night except for the security guards, so just for our own safety, it is good to put on the mask, um, just to, uh, blend in. 
So uh, for now, you can temporarily use um, my first mask, which um, is this one. So if we separate for a trial run tonight and you see something walking towards you, just best to put this on. Should it be okay? Uh, just let me know where you're at and put on the mask. I'll have a better one for you tomorrow. There you go. All right, so I believe I covered everything. We've got your measurements, FAS watch, mask, light. Any other questions for me so far? No, okay, good. All right, well, then why don't we go ahead and get started on the tour around the pizza plex and go from there. Yeah, let's get started on that tour. Um, we should go in this direction. So let's just go this way. Paul, Arsa, Jason W, Gary McGuire, Hooter HD, Robert, Apollyon 001, Maggie 070498, Charles MacArthur, Connor, Tom, Tasfigo Morgan, Razvan, Christia, Dennis, Connor J. Pesson. Body back, livid Canadian, reverse, Stefan Starvotov, Reese, Link 1259, Ethan Jansen, Derek Cooksey, Mike B, Spencer Reed, Lucas Gore, Angry Cripple, Jackson Arnold, Andrew Ball, Mr. Adelar, Thomas Flanagan, Dylan Long, SDR Knight, Biznatch 112, Craig, Crenindros, Hollow, Mr. Ox 1998, Light Fury, Taylor Hansen, Christoph Peps, Rocky, Mr. McNugget, Ron Stamp, Lewis, David McDowell, Nuki, David T. Edwards, Jeremy Fitzpatrick, Paramore East Best, Nelly Kill, Big Al, Just Woodsy, Spy Camp, Wolf's Rain 17, Gordon Harless, Sam Small, Tom J, Eric Jenkins, Aaron, Justin Parmentier, Gray Warden, This Charming Mothman, Neon Cunt, ASMR, CL Key, Clyde Fabian, Hondarian ASMR, Elko Neal, Kyle Kakante, Jaffa, 8 Penguin 909, Dragon Flame, Ivor, Sam Bushman, Sleepy Sloth, Mr. Mayhem, Chris MC83, Bartlehawk 764, Mermo 0921, Mike S, ASMR Musing, Sensei John Riviere, Ringo, Apollo, literally my husband, Anton Blake Cox, Mark M, James Pudic, Jacob R.N., Dude, Johnny DiRenzo, Chug and Plier, 316, Nicola Dees, Jeremy Spaniel, Rick Gonzalez, Scourge 77, Eric Smart, John TC1, Brian, Patrick Stewart, Loxin, Darnock, 